Hello, this is Laura from Plushy Nuggets and welcome to the episode 2 of Make It Playful. Uh, it's a little series of videos that I created in order to share with you some of the facilitation tools that I use for individual and groups. Today we're going to discover a little exercise to run healthy debate and start building common grounds among participants with a very simple and playful exercise that I called Creatively Debate. <laughs> Let's get started! So the first situation in which uh, it can be very useful to run a debate is when uh, participants outside of the workshop or the meeting have, do really have a struggle and a real debate going on and you want to kind of shut it down and move forward from that, so first case. Second case, I guess, is a bit different, is when you want to raise awareness about a specific topic and to do this, you don't, you don't want to lecture the people or you don't want to tell them what they should think, but more importantly, you want to raise their own awareness about a specific topic. Like, debate is a very, very good tool to do this. And the third situation um, is a bit maybe more complex, but it's when you, you want to avoid people to fall into general thinking and you want them to really develop a clear position that makes sense to them. So you basically want them to elevate from like black and white's opinion. So yeah, I guess that's the three reasons where it's very good uh, to run uh, a playful debate. Let's see how to prepare this activity. I like to use material that is playful and professional looking. You will need templates to organize arguments, cards to put down, to write down positions, and pens. You will also need a timer. I usually use my iPad. You will start by designing your position cards. Your position cards are simply the positions that the different parties of the debates are gonna embody in order to, to play uh, with the different ideas. You need to design this position in advance and think about them carefully. To give you a few guidelines, they could be exaggerated and caricatural. They can create a fake opposition and they don't have to be necessarily incompatible but they cannot be an exact reproduction of reality. Here is an example of me creating positions to have a debate on business models and the type of business model a, an enterprise could get. Um, of course, you can organize several debates in one sequence by just having different colors of cards. Once you made your card, distribute the position among different participants. I usually let, let randomness decide for what position to be embodied by Wu. Of course, if you have multiple participants, just make teams. You are now all set to start your debate. Um, first step is the preparation. You're going to prepare alone or in a group of two, and each team is going to speak twice. So organize your arguments to think about what you're going to say first, what is going to be a response to another group, and everything. What is the most important is that you need to embody your position card as if it was yours. Again, I made a little template in French and in English that you can find in the description. The second step is really going to be the debate time. So listen carefully. Each team is going to speak twice and is going to speak in a short and sharp intervention. I recommend you limiting the time of each intervention from 1 minute 30 maybe to 2 minutes if the debate is very big but anyways you don't want to create an interaction uh, that start focusing on oppositions but you really want to take a new look on the arguments themselves that are being presented to the other party so a short time is very good once the debate is over you can start entering the third step so the third step is to facilitate a simple group discussion uh, focusing on the arguments that were interesting to the group. So I recommend the facilitator to take visual note-taking for the group and focusing on the common grounds and what arguments the group as a whole found interesting or is an argument that you, you think you should take into account no matter what decision you're going to make. So yeah, you're all set. These are the just three easy steps to run this LC debate and start having some arguments to build common ground. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, as usual, if you like the content 
and you want to know more about playful facilitation and the tools to use, subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also get the templates for free um, by linking, you go into the description, you choose the templates, whether you want them in French or English and boom, you get it for free, amazing. Um, and I will also put a link towards the eShop if you were interested specifically um, in the play cards and you kind of want as well to make your material professional looking and fun. So yeah, you can, you can check that out. See you next time. Bye. -bye.